Well, hello, Carlos. How are you? Hello. Good evening, teacher. I'm very well. What about you, teacher? I'm doing great. I'm doing great here. Here, getting ready for another begin unit four. Yes. Yeah, teacher. Mm -hmm. I think that it will be uh, very interesting <laughs> because, for example, now I was doing one inventory. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, the spare, spare parts. Okay, spare parts, right? Yes. Okay. Good night. Good evening. Teacher, I am going out from my work because for the day we have to work uh, alone. Okay, Carla, no problem. No problem. I understand. Going to be... what, what I can recommend, Carla, is just stay connected and if we have an activity, I will exclude you, okay? Okay, thank you. I will online uh, in the class. Okay, just stay connected, okay? Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, no problem. I understand. Let me see. Hello, Telma. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Classmate, uh, good evening. Welcome, welcome. Mm -hmm. Nice to have you here today. <laughs> I'm so tired, teacher, because <laughs> I work in a Oh, uh, yeah, I understand. I understand well, it's already Tuesday, right? And it's, it seems like this last days are going to be the hardest, right? Before yes. Christmas, right before Christmas. Yeah, everything. yes, it's, it's about this. <laughs> yeah, so I understand. Yes, I know. Well, it gets a little harder, right? Yes. And then we relax for a few days. Let me see. All right. Hello, Janari. Welcome also. Hello, teacher. Hi. Let me see. Hi. All right. Are you ready to, to start unit four, the last unit, right? Inventory and inventario, right? That's what we're going to focus on this week is on inventory. I finished uh, a year. Excuse me, we Jenna? Finished, we, finished, we finished the the year with inventory. <laughs> yeah, we finished the unit with inventory. The unit, yes. And the module, right? The module. So we only have um after today just four more classes. Right. We're almost finished with the with the module. We just have to do this last unit. And it's related to inventory. Inventory. Now um let me see. Welcome everyone that's connecting. I'd like everybody to be here. Let me see. All right. Okay, welcome Doris, Blanca, Iris. Welcome, welcome. Hi, teacher. How are you, Blanca? I'm fine. I'm, I'm just get home right no. now. I just get. <laughs> you yeah. Just, I just. I just got home, got home. I just got home, that's yeah, right. Yeah, all right, great. Well, at least you're home and safe, right? Okay, you, you're out at night. Yeah, that's important. <laughs> yeah, at this time, yeah. I'm glad you're home, I'm glad you're home. Let me see, Doris, hello Doris, welcome. Thank you, teacher. All right, good to have you here. And let's see, Jackie. Hello, Jackie. Welcome. All right. Let me see. Yeah. 
All right. Okay, class, we're going to... Share this PowerPoint. All right, can you read it, please? We're going to begin with the unit already. Thank you for those of you joining. And can you read, please? Let me see, I see someone in the chat. Okay, no problem, Jackie. All right, so we can see the Christmas tree, okay? <laughs> so we'll wait for you, Jackie, no problem. Thank you. All right, um, let me see. Yanari. Yes, sir. Can you read, please? Okay. You did for inventory. Effective inventory management. Uh, management vocabulary group activity Tuesday, November 30th, 2021. May teacher Mr. Henry, intermediate for class number 21. All right, very good. 21 already, right? Remember, yeah. there are only 25, so we're almost finished, right? We're at the end here, the last. I just Four more classes after today. Monday, we should be finished on Monday. All right, let me see. All right. All right, we're going to focus with the inventory on page 30, page 33, okay? Page 33, that is your, uh, that is the inventory unit, that's where it begins, and there, we're going to do 33 and 34, okay, page 33 and 34, if we have time, we can do the, an activity that we were supposed to do a while back, but it's just outside of the unit uh, activities, it's just something extra, we have time, but Let's look at the, let's look at page 33, at page 33. But before we begin, I want you to be ready because I'm going to take, we're on this page right here. This is where we will begin, page 33 of your module. And before we begin, I'm going to take the first attendance. Okay, first attendance. Abigail. Abigail. Okay, not here. Blanca. Blanca. Present. Okay, thank you. Uh, Brenda. Brenda. Okay, not, not here. Carlos. I'm here, present teacher. All right, thank you. Doris. Present. All right, thank you. Edwin. Edwin. Okay, not here. Francisco. Good evening, present teacher. All right, thank you. Freddy's. Freddy's. Okay, he's connecting right now. Freddy, can you hear me? Are you there? All right, I see you there. All right, Freddy. I see you. Glenda. Glenda. Okay, not here. Iris. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Jackie? I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you. Um, Jarvin? Present teacher. All right, thank you. Jennifer? Teacher. Okay, thank you. Juan Jose. Juan Jose. Okay, not here. Carla. Carla. 
Present. All right, thank you. Neftali. Present teacher. All right, thank you. Rolando. Rolando, okay, not here. Thelma. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Janari. I'm here. All right, thank you. And finally, Alvin. Good evening, teacher. Present. All right. Awesome. Let's see. Two, four. Two, four. Six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, and sixteen. All right. Great. Okay, class. Let's continue. But before I go on, I want to tell you something. All right. Remember yesterday I was mentioning about the platform. Okay, it's already fixed. So I wanted to tell you first and I was going to send you a message. But I said, no, I'm going to do it in the video conference. That way we can be connected together and you can hear me directly. Because I want to share with you. Si quieren mejorar la nota en actividad, you can do it right now. I can give you a few minutes. Les doy unos minutos si lo quieren hacer ahorita. I will gladly do that for you. A que me refiero. Let me show it to you. All right, can you see the screen? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Okay. All right. So now, this is from Unit 3, 3.9. La 3.9, 3.9, all right? Go to 3.9, and there was an issue with, with, with this. Okay. okay. What was wrong was mm -hmm. this one was together with this one, right? Estaban unidas, por eso nunca le daba el 20, el 20 de 20, right? So when you click it now, si te le dan bien ahorita la hace, right? you see esto at the bottom? Now you will have 20 of 20. So those of you que tienen un 95 aquí, you can, you can uh, uh, if you want to, Correct it. You can go to it right now. I can give you a few minutes. I'm talking about 3.9. 3.9. All right, Teacher, in the platform. Teacher, excuse me. I didn't see very well. Uh, how do you do? Okay, can you see the screen, Carlos? Yes, yes, teacher. Okay, yes, teacher. But can you go here? What is it ahorita? 3.9? Yes. Okay. Yes. Are you yes. Are you, okay, someone has. Yes, a, yes, I'm here. All right. Are you there right now, Carlos? Yes, yes. Okay. Yes, okay. Now, go to the bottom part. You see these questions and put these on there. Because yes. what lo que pasaba era que estas, estas dos estaban unidas. All right. So at the end, nomás le daba un puntuaje de 15. Now, yes. Now, if you do it now, you should get 20. And I want you to tell me if it's, si le sale el 20 de 20, 20 of 20. Yes, yes, teacher. Now, yes, yes. All right, great. I, I tried before, but I cannot do anything there. And, All right. Yeah. Now, now you can, right? Yes, now, yes, yes now it's good. Okay. Thank you. All right, no problem. And when you do it, if you do it right now, automaticamente cambia su nota y yo la voy a transferir. I will transfer that grade to the administrative platform, okay? But you have to do it in order for me to change it, okay? I, I did it right now, teacher. Okay, so remember, yo no la puedo cambiar. You have to do it in your platform con su correo para que me salga a mí. Si no lo hacen yeah. ustedes, no me va a salir a mí, okay? So if yeah. you do it now, if you can go here, I'm giving you extra time. If you go to 3.9, you pone así, then you will have 20 of 20. When you do it, le da enviar, all right? You say send, and it should be already with a new punctuation, 20 of 20. And then your, uh, your grade will change. When it changes, I will see it and then I will transfer the new grade. Okay? 
Any questions? Freddy's? You did it? Yes? Yes. All right, great. Awesome. Awesome. Perfect. All right. So I just gave you a few minutes right now. I hope you did it. If not, then uh, uh, si no lo hace, pues se queda con esa nota. Right? And there's no problem also. There's no problem with the with that same score. But if you want to go up five points, then you can fix it at this moment. All right. Let's, let me see. Let's go back to the, to the PowerPoint. All right. So we are here with the, with the inventory. And can you begin, please? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Neftali, can you begin, please, reading? I will be able to. I will be able to explain the relevance of an effective inventory management. Let's start. Does your company handle items from items with expiration dates? What happens to products that go out of season or become irrelevant in the market? Hmm, very good, Neftali. All right, so we have here some, some maybe some analysis, some questions. What do you think about these questions? Let me see. Okay, no problem, Robin. I, I will write it down. No problem. Let me see what. What do you think about these questions? What happens to products that go out of season? Do you know what that means? Does anyone know what knows what that means? What happens to products that go out of season? What do they mean by that? An example, like the season right now, the um, Christmas season. Ah, like, very good, right? Like uh, Christmas trees, all those kind of products. They're like, let's say when Christmas is over, all the products are there will be a storage for the next year. All right, so what do you think happens to those products? They get stored? Yeah. For next year, right? Yeah. Okay. What what else would happen to a product that is out of season? Maybe how uh, uh I don't know how do you say devaluado? Okay, devalue right or depreciate. Depreciate devalue because for 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 R or maybe for um, the um, another season. Okay. I see in the in the in the song uh, TV shows, for example, Tacaños Extremos. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Yes. Right. That that's a possibility also. Right. Yes. Yes. The yes, the person buy uh, buy some product for other season. For example, in this moment that we have a Christmas Christmas season, they buy a product for the yes valentine's days okay valentine's valentine's <laughs> all right yeah maybe it's, it's it's a crazy but i don't know yeah some people do it right some people do it right yeah so yeah. thank you francisco thank you right okay teacher uh anyone else that would like to give their opinion uh, as to what happens to products that go out of season or become irrelevant in the market. Ya se, se convierten irrelevantes en el mercado. What do you think? What do you think happens to those products? Do they go to the trash? Maybe in the United States, some company probably will throw it in the trash, right? But not here, right? Not here. I don't see no company throwing anything in the trash, right? So, what do you think, what would you do? 
What would you do if you are the if you're the owner of a company and you bought all this merchandise for Christmas, you know, hey. and you only sold one Christmas tree? Maybe give a discount. Ah, there you go, right? Yeah, right. For example, you know it's already going to be the 24th, right? And you're like, man, I still got todavía tengo 100 árboles aquí, right? So what are you going to do? You go, you're not going to take a loss, right? Because you need your Christmas money, right? So yeah. you're probably going to sell them at the price that you bought them just to break even, right? Para que para quebrar prácticamente balanced out, right? So those are uh, those are options that you have to understand when you words. yes right imagine 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 someone that like I'm opening your example I'm going to put myself as an example let's say I don't know much about firecrackers right me myself right now I bought them before si los he reventado ya parezco niño a veces quedan reventando cohetes but I do it right I still do it, right? And, and then, yeah, right. It, it's part of life. I still, I still do it because uh, lo hacía pequeño, right? But now, if I were to go right now, si yo fuera ahorita, digo, hmm, I'm going to go buy some fireworks, firecrackers. Me voy a meter en esto, digo yo, right? I'm going to put myself in this business. And I go purchase a thousand, maybe two thousand dollars worth of fireworks and firecrackers, right? And I come back, I go con el carro, yeah, no, fum, fum. and I do my inventory, right? 500 de esto, 600 aquí de cuete de this type of fireworks, this type of estrellita, and all this, right? And then I and I go outside and I say, yeah. I'm selling fireworks or firecrackers, right? And I can stay in my community. Y la gente no me conoce, right? Que vendo cohetes y todo eso. So it's like, no, vamos a donde la niña tal o el señor tal, right? Porque siempre los hemos comprado ahí todos los años. And I don't sell. I sell a little bit, right? What am I going to do? <laughs> right remember that if i save them for next year um como que they they i don't know they still work right todavía sirven para el otro año i don't know you tell me right <laughs> <laughs> so uh, and then when the customer <laughs> comes <laughs> uh, todo ya de, de la humedad and everything right so they're gonna say ah oh, nunca le compremos a él lo vende lo de hace dos años right so <laughs> that you have to understand the market also right we've been talking about this for a while right in this unit in this module right the market the logistics, right? How to, to manage, and now we're doing inventory, right? So here, I lost. I lost here, right? Definitely. Because Why? You before. Exactly, right? First of all, I didn't know what I was doing. I just went on a, on a shopping spree, and, ah, wait, I that todo, right? and at the end, I didn't. I didn't sell it, right? And now I have it here in my storage in my house as a hazard, right? Yeah, it's <laughs> a hazard here in San Miguel. En cualquier hora explota todos los cuentos, right? It's so hot, right? It's so hot in June and July, right? Now, these options that you gave me, or this, these opinions that you gave me, can actually become a reality for some, all right? And some people are living it right now at this very moment. They're desperate to sell their product. They're desperate to store their product. So they need to establish an appropriate inventory of everything and determine your losses and your gains. All right, now, let's continue. Um, Francisco, can you read, please? Uh, yes, teacher. Uh, Sarah is asking, Ramon, some some th tips mm -hmm. on the basic of basics. inventory control. Basics. Basic. Okay. Basic of inventory control. 
read the conversation and take turn. turns. Practicing turns. Uh, practicing with the partners. Very good. Excellent. All right. So now we're going to read this and we're going to see Sarah and Raymond. Right. Now you can say Sarah and Ramon if you want to. All right. And they're going to. She's asking for some tips. Get some tips. Uh, maybe consejo. Yes, right. Tip is that's one. And what is the other definition for tip? Accessory. Huh? Accessory. Oh yeah, that could be a tip. All right. But what is another way you can use the word tip in another occasion? When you go to a restaurant, you leave but, a tip. Propina. Propina, Propina, right? Yes, all right. So be careful how you use tips. It depends on the context, all right? Tips, some propinas, when you go to a restaurant, you leave a tip, all right? You tip the waiter or the waitress. Here, tips serían como unos puntos importantes. Consejos, asesoría, those types of things. Those are tips. So just remember the, the, the differences, all right? Now, um, who wants to be Sara? And who wants to be Ramon? Me, the chair, Sara. Okay, Blanca, and who else? And Jackie, and right? Jennifer. Okay, Jennifer. Jennifer. Okay, Jennifer. Blanca. Jennifer, you are Ramon. <laughs> <All right. laughs> okay. Go ahead, Blanca. How does inventory management work, Ramon or Jennifer? <laughs> you need to have enough products in your inventory to sell to your customer when they want, but you don't want to have it to have too much in your inventory, or you will be paying a lot of money to have to have it stored. Oh well, stored. I was I was thinking on investigating. Mm, investing, invest. investing yeah. in some new case cases for cases for the L phone X. Mm, don't do it. Note that L phone X is on stores. You will not sell much. That's one of the problems with inventory management. When you have too much inventory because you sold, you could sell more than you did, and there is a change in the market. You might end up paying for books you can sell. Ah, all right, very good. You see here what I was mentioning to you about if I were to go buy firecrackers and fireworks, right? I might end up paying for some of those products, right? In other words, I took a loss. So here they're talking about que son cases. What do they mean? Cajas. By, huh? Cajas. Mm, no. Okay. Protector. Like mm -hmm. protectores. Yes. Uh -huh. protectores. Yeah, the covers, right? The cases for the iPhone, right? Some new cases, right? The what they go here, que le ponen atrás, the protectors, these right here, right? These are the cases. You see these? Vanessa? Right? These are cases. Right? These are phone cases where you put your phone in. Right? So what he's saying is basically is you have to understand the market don't buy too much don't overbuy where you can't sell everything because you're going to end up paying for some of it yourself right and uh, so those are some of the tips that sarah is asking uh, raymond right about inventory control you have to do what is called inventory management what is inventory management? Can someone give me like something brief? If I tell you what is inventory management, what can you tell me? Can someone give me a brief summary of what is what is inventory management? Did you? Mm -hmm. It's when you and me. Go ahead, Carlos. I, I will wait. You will wait. Wait, wait. She, she, she can speak 
Oh, ah, okay. You're talking about Blanca? Yes. 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 Okay. Go ahead, Blanca. Uh, it's when you administrate uh, the, in the inventory, I think. Okay. The mm -hmm. Management, literally, it's administración de inventario. Yes. Very good. Very good. All right. Very good, Blanca. Anyone else? Carlos? Yes, teacher. Um, uh, for example, I I want to tell you that, for example, in my high school, I see see uh, three different kinds of uh, management inventory. inventory. Right. Uh, but is uh, like, uh, for example, uh, the first uh, in in bone are the first. It, uh, las primeras las primeras entradas primeras salidas eh, primeras entradas últimas salidas okay, okay the, medio. all right so are you talking about what comes in in the as far yeah, as merchandise but I, but I have a problem to say that in english <laughs> all right yeah. yeah but i'm trying to figure out las entradas what are you talking what do you mean by entradas inventory are you talking control. about when you're writing it down Cuando lo escribes? Inventory control, but with the cost, with the cost. Ah, okay, yeah. with the cost, all right. Yeah, with the cost, inventory control with the cost. All right. I know the three different kinds. Okay, so you gave me different types of inventory management, right? Yes. Okay, so what, what is inventory management? Just inventory management. Yeah, PEPS, webs, y costo promedio. Okay. So, um, it's a different kind. Of, yes, uh, uh, Carlos, we're talking here about inventory where you stock the shelves, all right? Yeah, we, but with the cost. Yes. All right, so you're referring, you're referring your, your ideas with cost, right? Yes, yes, yes. All right, so, you, okay, well, how will you manage the cost? In inventory, how will you how will you stock everything in the inventory? Yeah, for example, the 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 fruit or the fruit is, for example, you you have to the product. you have to sell first the 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 last uh, product that you receive because it is more fresh. It's more fresh but some products are are selling a uh, different different kind of process for example uh because for example with the cost are um, <laughs> higher or and sometimes lower you can you have to modify your cost your 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 sell price that okay all right i can understand that's a li that's part of it right that's part of it because when we talk about inventory we're talking about stocking the, the products correctly we're talking about the right at the right levels in other words you want to put all your stuff where the person can see it right and then like carlos mentioned the cost right at the right place at the right price all right thank you carlos for your input all right and remember that the word promedio right you mentioned a word promedio the word in english is average average okay teacher thank okay. you okay that is the english word for promedio right so if you're anyone else that would like to share something I heard you mentioning something. I don't know if you want to share something. Yeah, it's um, already in tracking stock as it arrives at the warehouse. Okay. <clears throat> Very good. Very good. Right? You have to be able to stock it. You have to be able to stock it right when it arrives to the 
to the warehouse or to the place wherever the business is. Now, if you're asking, uh, what is that teacher que puso en la pantalla? That is what uh, Carlos mentioned earlier, el promedio, right? That is the average, average, y así se escribe. In case you need it. Average. Yes, average, average, right? Thank you, yeah. teacher. All right, if you're doing uh, math or a contabilidad, you, then you you can use this word in English is average when you want the promedio, right? The average price. All right, let me take it off. All right, let's look at the let's look at the questions. Now I want to ask you something. I want to ask the class. Okay, ordering and tracking stock as it arrives at the warehouse, right? That's what you put, Freddy's in the chat. Right. All right. That is totally correct also. I want to ask the class, has anyone, alguno de ustedes, has anyone ever been in the selling business, eh, negocio de ventas? Has anyone been in sales, in ventas? Anyone? I was trying to chat sometimes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Anyone else? No? All right. Let me. I just wanted to ask, and maybe I can get some um, some actual information, for examples and stuff like that. But no experience here on the topic. So let's continue. Can you read, please, um, the pair work, Thelma? Okay, um, Jackie. Excuse me, teacher. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Go ahead, Thelma. I thought you were busy. Pensé que estaba ocupadita y that's why. All right. No, no, no. All right. Um, can you read the pair work, please? Okay. Okay, teacher. Pair work. Discuss. Discuss the answers. The questions below. Okay, can you read can you read the all three of them please? Okay. Number one, why is it important to have enough product in your inventory? Right. Number two, is it a good idea to have an excess of inventory? Okay, I'm going to correct you now, Thelma. Just a small correction. Inventory, inventory. Inventory. Yeah, so good. Inventory. Thank yes. Okay. And repeat. Can I can I repeat? The sure. Question? Okay. Sure, no problem. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Is it a good idea to have an excess of inventory? Okay. Inventory, inventory. Inventory. Number right. three, what happens if you have too much inventory and market trends suddenly change? All right, much better, much better. Perfect, good job, Thelma. Excellent pronunciation. Now, Thelma just read to us these three questions. What you're going to do is, it says pair work. So, I'm going to let you give your opinions. You do not have to write anything, okay? Si lo quieres escribir, you can. If you want to write it, you can. But the instructions say discuss. Discuss means que, que lo hablen, right? To discuss it, to debate, debatir el temas, the, the topics. There are three topics. Why is it important to have enough products in your inventory? Why is it important, right? I like I mentioned to you before, I have gone to places where where when I want to order something, they tell me they don't have it. So should it be important to have the the proper products in your inventory? Is it a good yeah. idea to have an excess? Mm, yes. All right, like me buying all these firecrackers, right? 
Y no he vendido nada, right? I haven't sold anything, right? No, I, no he comprado. That was just an example, right? I'm not going to buy firecracker. <laughs> Don't think that teacher está haciendo cuentos, right? No, right? So what happens if you have too much inventory and market trends suddenly change? Market trends significa esas modificaciones donde se mueve el mercado, all right? For example, um, when a new phone comes out, y, y sale un nuevo phone, a new phone comes out, and you're selling a product que era antes de ese producto, ¿cuál se va a vender más rápido? The newer product, right? Especially for Christmas, right? Ah, sale in, in the United States, I can tell you a trend. Le puedo dar un ejemplo de un trend in the United States. Caos, chaos, right? This is chaos. When the new Jordans come out, right? En esos tiempos, cuando salían los nuevos Jordans. I'm talking about Michael Jordan, el jugador. He has his own shoes with Nike, right? So when the new Jordans come out, dicen una fecha, they, they give a date. The stores are closed at night, right? And they're stocking everything for inventory. Thousands of shoes because they know that they have to open the doors and let all the customers in to buy. Y todo van para que? To buy the new Jordans, right? And I don't know if you've seen videos on YouTube or you have seen it in live. Yo lo he intentado en vivo, en vivo, right? And it's a stampede. It's an a stampede, right? It's like, right? They fight each other for the product, right? So, the, esos son trends. Right? Cuando el mercado cambia una, una figura, un producto a otro. Uh, those are trends. The movement of the market. All right. So, I'm going to put you in pairs. And you're going to discuss these topics. Use your own critical analysis. Use your own ideas. Right? This is not writing. You do not have to send it to me. Right? No me lo tienen que mandar. I'm going to enter the rooms. And if you want to, let me see. What I'm going to do is share this. Voy a compartir esto a todos los, los rooms. All right. So you can have it. And for those of you that will not enter, you, I will send it to the group. And uh, if you want to practice it, because I, I, I might call on you. Let me send this. Where is the group? Here it is. All All right, I send it to the group just in case some of you might want it there. That's that's the part that you will be doing. Let me share I'm going to put you in breakout rooms. Okay, let me see. I have to do this manually because some people will not be able to do it okay Blanca are you able to do this activity Blanca are you Blanca teacher I'm hearing right now okay <laughs> I will let you eat okay I will leave you out okay no problem Carlos you're going to let me see you're going with Francisco Room two, Freddy's. You're going with where's Janari? And Iris. You're going with Jackie. And 
Tori. Good evening, teacher. Hi. Hello, Glenda. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hi. Hi. I can't do this activity because I am in the hospital. Okay. All right. No problem. I will exclude you. Just stay connected, okay, Glenda? Um, yes, thank you. All right. Just stay connected. Don't worry about it, okay? I understand. I hope everything is, is okay. All right? I hope everything okay. is thank fine, you, okay? Teacher. No problem. Let me see. Doris, you're going with Thelma and let me see who else in there. All right, let me see. Jennifer. You're going to be with Carl. No, you're going to be with Neftali. And Carla, you're going to be with Jarvin. All right. Okay. Ready? Discuss these topics with your own words. One, two, three. Please enter breakout rooms. Hello, Juan Jose. Okay, Carla, can you hear me? Juan Jose, can you hear me? Yes, I hear you. Okay, all right. So we're doing an activity in breakout rooms and the activity is on um, page 30, page 30, uh, 32, 30, 30, 33, 30, I'm sorry, 33. 33. Okay. Yes, all right. I send it to the group as you can see it, but I'm going to put you with someone, all right? It's basically doing pair work do you want to do the activity, Juan Jose? Yes. Okay, great. All right. I want to ask you before I send you to to breakout rooms. And you're going to be with Jarvin, okay? Okay, okay, thank you. All right, no problem. All right, there you go. The, the screen is already shared in breakout rooms. So.
actually, they they always uh, have they always have a profit, right? So yeah. I don't think that they lost. But well, actually, in most, in most case, they they sell in the public, and they sell in uh, at a cost, right? But then always. Well, hello, Rolando. How are you? How was your hello, day? Teacher. All hello. right. I'm fine. I'm ready. All right. We're doing breakout rooms right now. We're on breakout rooms, but um, let me close the rooms for them. I'm also going like to do breakout rooms. Let me close it for them. I think they okay. should be almost finished with it. Uh, okay. Okay, All teacher. Right. All right. I'm late. I'm yeah, late no. because I have to work and and I am. Uh, right now I'm I'm back to my home. All right, no problem. Well, nice to have you here. As you can see, everyone's back already. <laughs> you finally say, "Hey, on the right? <laughs> We're doing uh, yeah. an activity, right? We're doing an activity. Yeah. All right, so." But I understand, Rolando, right? I understand. But at okay. least you're here. At least you're here right now, right? You're here okay, thank you. No problem. And Abigail, all right, welcome, Abigail. Let me see. We were doing, they were doing an activity in breakout rooms for those that just joined the class. All right, so. Okay, class. Now, you did this activity, and it's in the group, Rolando. Ahí lo mandé al grupo también, if you want to see what what your classmates were doing in Abigail, if you want to under have a little basic understanding of what your classmates were talking about, they were talking about page 33, right? The three points. Neftali, can you share with the class something that was mentioned when you were talking about this topic? Give me just a, one idea of either one, two, or three that your classmates said. Okay. Why well, it's important to have enough products in the inventory? Uh, we think that it's important because to keep the clients, if you do not have the products on your store, the client will look in other store and next time the client will want to buy the same products, will not go to your store because you didn't have the previous time. So that's why I think we uh, we think it is important to have enough inventory, but be careful how, well, it's like decisions managers have to take how many inventory to have in their stories um, based maybe on histories, sellings. Um, Very good. And we, um, about if it is a good idea to have excess inventory or not, um, it depends on the time. Mm -hmm. For example, these days that has been black weeks and black weekend <laughs> days like this, some business, I know that they have, they buy, they prepare for this day and they have excess of inventory because they sell it these days. And if they sell these days, they need to have more inventory to continue selling the next month. But if they sell everything, they will not have enough. So these days, they need to be prepared. So they have to have an excess of inventory. Very good. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Good job. Good job, Neftali. Any other uh, suggestions, anyone that would like to participate and give us some input of what you talked about with your classmate? Anyone without me saying, calling your name? Would anyone like to participate? Freddy's want to participate. Ah, Freddy wants to participate. Yeah, why not? <laughs> All right, thank you, Number Jennifer. Number one, why is important to have enough product in your inventory? 
inventory um, because it well, actually it is and it's not important. Why? Because you need to see if the product is really high demanded. If the product is not high demanded, it's not worth it to have a a lot of inventory. All right. So you have to see if the product is really being demanded. If it's a good idea to have an in an X to have an, an excess of inventory, actually I actually answer it at the same time because you need to see with the product if it has a high demand or demand or not. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> what happens if you have too much inventory and the market trends starting to change? You have to make a discount in order to change it. You, you <laughs> actually have a kind of loss of money. Yeah, exactly. Maybe, right. maybe you will not be able to sell all the product too. That's true. That's true. All right, Freddy. Well, thank you. Thank you for your for your participation, right? All right. Anyone else that would like to say something before we do the second attendance? All right, let me see. Well, as you as you figured it out, you know, those were pretty much easy questions that relate to how will you manage? And this is the whole focus here. Inventory management, right? Remember that. If you can if you can succeed in that terminology and apply it to the workforce, you're going to be fine when it comes to inventory. Otherwise, you're going to be a little lost, you're going to lose money, and you're probably going to be frustrated, right? So let's um, let's do the second attendance. All right, let me. let me get my other here. Okay. Good evening. I am a home teacher. You're home already, Carla? Yes, I'm so sorry. It's because I am a collection agent in this state are so complicated for me. Okay, no problem. Let me see. Thank you. All right. Abigail? Present teacher. All right. Blanca? Present. Okay, thank you. Brenda? Okay, not here. Carlos? I'm here present teacher. Okay, thank you. Doris. Present. Okay, thank you. Edwin. Edwin. All right. Francisco. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Freddy. I'm here, All right, I'm thank here. you. Glenda. All right. All right. Iris. Present teacher. All right. Jackie. Present. Okay, thank you. Jarvin. Present. All right. Let me see. Okay, Glenda, I got you, okay? I already put you present. Okay, don't worry. Jennifer? Present. Okay, thank you. Juan Jose? Juan Jose? Okay. Present, okay, thank you. Carla? Present. Okay, thank you. Neftali? Present. All right, thank you. Rolando? Present. All right, thank you. Thelma? Present teacher. All right, thank you. Yanari? I'm here. All right, thank you. And finally, Alvin. Present teacher. All right, great. Okay. So. Do, 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 do. All right, let's continue now and let's go to the next part. 
see. Let me share screen. And we're going to go to page 34. Page 34. Now here, um, in this, in this, in this page, remember the one before was only speaking, right? Where you had to discuss and give your own opinions. In this one, you're going to have to write. All right, and esta van it won't be this guy won't be speaking. It's going to be writing, okay? That and I'm talking about number. Um, I'm talking about number six. Here it says the discuss, but this one we're going to do it in writing, all right? And it's not going to be in pair. Like the other one, the, uh, like the Montero from Palace también, but this one you're going to do individually, all right, individually, and you're going to do writing, all right? You're going to do it in writing, so be ready for activity number six. You will, uh, esta sí va a ser actividad de clase, it will be an activity in class, and you're going to send it to me when you finish, when we, when we get to that point, all right? I'm talking about number six. This will be activity number one unit four in class activity writing i want to see your writing skills right i want to see your writing skills also but that will be when we get to this point first we're going to do number four um let me see Jackie, can you read, please, number four, where it says building vocabulary? Sure. Okay. Uh, building vocabulary match the words related to inventory to their meaning. All right. Inventory. 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 Very good. Inventory. Yes. Very good. All right. So you're going to match, this is vocabulary words. Can you give us the vocabulary words, please, Jackie? Okay, number one, uh, store, stock, stock. All right. A stock. software, stock. All right, stock, stock. Stock. All right, All right. stock. Okay, stock, stock. Um, I just, uh, from one to seven. Yes, please. Okay, okay. Number two, inventory tracking. Number three, point of sale, POS. <laughs> Number four, restock. Three is spoilage. Yes. Six, four levels. Seven, first in, first out. Okay. F I F O. Very good, very good, very good. First in, first out, right? All right, this is something that I think Carlos was, was mentioning earlier, right? About things that come in and go out. In reality, it is called, you can say the in and out, or you can say first in, first out. There's a difference between as soon as it comes in, you restock it. All right, there's a difference between that idea and this idea. First in, first out. All right. And you see it. You see it sometimes in the stores. All right. And in some places they don't do it, but some places, if you notice, have you ever have you ever been to the have you ever been to the supermarket and they don't actually apply this but they do something similar but it's the opposite right the oldest the oldest product is in the 
is in the front, right? And the newer products are in the back. Have you ever bought milk? Algunos de ustedes que van a comprar leche al super o algo. Do you just grab the first one that you see? Agarran la primera que ven? No. No, no. yeah. You don't, no. right? Right? No. It's a little trick. Hay un truco. Si usted no más llega y agarra la primera que ve, se está llevando la que se va a vencer más rápido. Right? Yeah. That's a tip that I'm giving you. Lo mismo con los eggs, el pan. Eh, pan de caja, it's the same thing, right? Go, I took, there's something that they teach you when you do sales, right? So you grab from the back. Ese es un tip que les doy a todos ustedes porque yo lo hago when I go shopping, all right? Don't grab the first one. Ah, sí, está, you get it, right? No, go to the back. Si usted puede ver la fecha de, de vencimiento, entre más lejos esté de enfrente, Más tiempo tiene para usar el producto, right? So I'm saying in Spanish so you can get a good grasp of what I'm getting at. Those are good shopping skills, right? Those are good shopping skills, right? I do that with milk. I do that with bread. I do that with all kinds of products because they're going to put in the front what is to your eye. It's going to be the items that you're going to get que se van a vencer lo más en dos o tres días, right? Or four days. So if you get the ones in the back, they might have like seven days before the expiration date. So you get a better, fresh, fresher product. All right. But that's the way they do the, inv the, the inventory. That's how they do it in the, in the supermarkets, right? So be, be aware of that. Let's look at these. The definitions, please. Um, who wants to read the definitions? Okay, go ahead, please. A software system used to keep a record of inventory levels, orders, sales, and deliveries. Replenish a store with fresh stock or supplies. The time and place where retail transaction is completed. A retail, a retail. Oh, sorry, a retail. Very good. Uh, items with expiration. Items. Items. Items with expiration dates like food or even cosmetics that can become uh, rotten. Okay, rotten. 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 Or un unusable if not sold in time. The oldest inventory items are record as sold first. Merchandise kept in a warehouse and available for sale or distribution. And the last one, the amount that should be available at any time for an item. Item. When an item falls below par, is, it is replenished. All right. When an item falls below par. 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 All right. It is replenished replenished okay thank you thank you for your participation and this is what i'm going to ask you class i want you to do this we're going to do it in class together but i'm giving you the i want to give you the option to do it yourself also and see how well you did when we do it here in class all together so i'm going to give you a few minutes and let you study this and try to figure out if you can do this by yourself. They're just vocabulary words, all right? Now, if you're asking what is spoilage, alguien sabe que es spoilage? Does anyone know what is spoilage? All right, eso cuando ya está algo arruinado, when something is spoiled, all right? We're talking about food. No que el carro está spoiled, right? We're talking about food. Spoil is only for food, all right? It's, it's, um, it's spoiled. Spoiled, está arruinada la comida. Arruinada es, y hasta huele mal, right? Uh, those types of things. That is spoiled. So if you grab something that is spoiled, you say, oh, this food is spoiled. Significa que ya está mala la, la comida, right? It smells bad. It could have stuff in it. I don't know. Different colors.
And I'm going to give you a few minutes so you can uh, work this out. And then we will do it together in class. And I will call on some of you to participate. Let me know uh, when you finish. Let me know if anyone finishes so I can so I can see where we are at. Is that better? I made it a little bit bigger.
Okay, is anyone finished? Yanari, are you finished? Yes, sir. All right. Anyone else finished? I'm finished. All right. Okay, let's let's begin. I'm going to ask for volunteers. Yanari, can you do number one? What will be stuck? Stuck. Mercandy. Mercandy. Okay. Mercandy. <laughs> okay, let me let me help you, Yanari. Uh -huh. Merchandise. 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 Thank you. Merchandise kept in a warehouse and available for sale or distribution. Okay, very good. Merchandise, right? Right, yes, merchandise. Merchandise. All right, very good. Merchandise. Merchandise. All right, very good. So merchandise kept in a warehouse and available for sale or distribution. That is stock, right? That is stock. It's just the product stored in a warehouse. Let me see. Um, who wants to do number two? What is inventory tracking? It's five. Oh. Okay, Doris? Okay. Uh, a software system used to keep record of inventory levels, orders, sales, and deliveries. Very good. Excellent. Well done. That will be number two. All right, very good. That is inventory tracking, right? They, they There's all kinds of technology to track to track the product let me see some people can even track it with their phone or their computer right and, and track your product let me see number three what what would be number three point of sale hmm point of sale pos what would that be <clears throat> the time and place where our trade transaction is complete all right, yes, perfect, very good. The time, yes, the time and place where a retail transaction is completed. That is correct. Point of sale, all right? El punto de venta, right? Very good, thank you, Juan Jose. Number four, restock. Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Number four, restock. Replenish a store with fresh stock or supplies. Very good, yes, replenish, right? Replenish is like to bring more, right? To supplement the old and put new ones in, right? Replenish. Very good, excellent. What would be number five? Spoilage, who wants to do number five? Me, teacher. Go ahead. Items with expiration dates, like food or even cosmetics that can, can become rotten or unusable if not sold in time. All right, very good, that is correct. Now I have a question. Eso me suena raro, I, that, I, I find it odd, right? But I could be wrong. Well, you start equivocado. So I'm going to ask the women here. I'm going to ask you women. Eh, los cosméticos se pueden ir mal? They can become bad, like rotten or something? I'm just asking because I didn't know. Right? It says cosmetics. Yeah. Is that true? Yeah. Yes. yes. yes? Yeah. Hmm. That's the basic. All uh, right. Uh, the, the color or it will be like the cortado. It's like the meal, la leche cortada. Ah. It's spoiled, right? It's, uh -huh. Okay. I didn't know that. That's new, right? I'm reading it right here. I'm like, hmm. I don't know if that's true, right? <laughs> but I'm going to ask you, right? I want to get your opinion. Very good. Okay, so it's it's possible, yeah. All right, that's new to me. I didn't know that. All right. What is the word rotten? Rotten. It significa R O T T E N. 
Podrido. Yeah, all right. So, rotten significa podrido, right? So, we're talking about food, spoiled, spoilage. Rotten or unusual, unusable, if not sold in time. Okay. And what would be number six? Me, teacher. Go ahead, Carla. I think a demand should be available at any time for an item when an is eaten on item. 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 Okay. Item falls below par. It is replenished. Okay. Very good. Now here, just to give you a little information, when we're talking about par levels, los niveles de par, we're talking about where you have the minimal minimum levels of inventory. For example, I'm going to give you an example. Um, the people that make pupusas every day, right? The people that sell pupusas around the corner where you live or anywhere where you go, do they buy excess or they buy what they need for that day? Do they buy what they need for that night? Or do they buy for tomorrow and the next day and the next day? No, they buy what they only buy or they keep what they're going to use that day. And if it finishes, that's it. Hasta ahí nomás, right? They don't go like run to go get more, right? They only buy the minimum. Why? Because they don't want to buy too much. Y les sobre bastante, right? So this is what he's talking about. Uh, Par levels, par levels. You want to keep the minimum. Once it finishes, it finishes, right? Just like the people that make tortillas. You go, oh, ya se terminaron. Why? Because they buy what is needed. They don't overbuy. That's what he's talking about here, par levels. Okay, uh, the last one, number seven. Who wants to read number seven? Go ahead, Rolando. Can you read number seven, please? Okay, first in, first out, people. These, the oldest inventory items are recorded as sold first. All right, very good. So like I was mentioning earlier, right? So the oldest inventory, they put in the front, like I mentioned earlier about the milk and when you go buy products at the grocery store, right? Lo más viejo es lo que le ponen enfrente para que usted lo agarre, right? And that way, they don't have to worry about it, right? They say, no tenemos allá y agarra, right? You just grab it, right? But you're getting the things that are about to expire. So be careful, be careful. And I tell you, next time you go, la próxima vez que vaya al super, póngalo en prueba, put it to use. Grab the first one y vayas al mero atrás. Go to the back and grab one from back there and put them together and see the expiration dates. Do it. Do it one day. And you're going to be like, hey, right? I didn't know this, right? Pero así funciona. That's the way it works. All right? But they don't tell you. They do not tell you. Oh, las de enfrente son las que van a vencer. They don't tell you, right? You have to already be knowledgeable. All right, let's continue. Thank you for your participation. Now it says choose five. Can you read, please, Doris? Okay. Choose five of the terms above and write a sentence per each. A sentence. A sentence per each. All right. Very good. Let me see. All right. Okay, let me clear this. Now we have here. Let me erase this. All right, what you're going to do is you are not going to to write five of these sentences, right? We're going, I'm going to unify. Voy a unir la actividad. I'm going to unify the activities, all right? So what you're going to do is, instead of doing two activities separately, you're going to do just one. 
let me explain it a little bit better. Let me correct this page. Okay, this is what you're going to do. You're going to give me a writing, and I'm going to give you time. Aquí le voy a dar tiempo aquí para que no tengan de tarea. All right, so you won't have to have it as homework. You can do it here right now in class. It's going to be a writing. All right, la anterior era speaking. This one's going to be writing, and you're going to use include include three to five vocabulary words in your paragraph. All right? You're going to give me a spot a small paragraph or un parafo. Right, paragraph. How many words? At least 50 words. 50 to 75 words. All right. Pero de qué? What are you going to talk about? You're going to talk about One to two reasons. Ahí es en tres. You can give me three. Si usted quiere hacer las tres, you can do it. But I'm only asking for... Uh, no, voy a cambiar este uno. A que sea dos. Two reasons, right? Two reasons. That would be the minimum. Eso es el mínimo. Three reasons. Máximo. Right? Razones de qué? Let me continue. Why companies need to have an effective inventory? Management. Esa es la pregunta. Why companies need to have an effective inventory oh, management? Right? <laughs> right? So, ¿por qué deben de tener este manejo de inventario? Why do they need to have this effective? Tiene que ser efectivo. Effective. Why do companies need to have an effective? No, no más inventory management. Un management efectivo, effective. And no estoy hablando de dinero. I'm talking about action, right? I'm talking about action. An effective inventory. Why companies need to have an effective inventory management? Muchas tienen inventory management, pero es realmente efectivo, eficaz, hmm, right? So why do we need to have? Why do companies? And then you're going to write 50 to 75 words, 50 75 palabras, 50 to 75 words, y va a incluir dos razones mínima o three max, three reasons. La actividad dice que es tres, but I'm giving you two, all right? If you want to do three, please, I will not stop you, all right? But in this paragraph, and it's in este, in this writing, you have to include, debe incluir tres a cinco palabras del vocabulario. You have to add three to five vocabulary words from here. At least, right? At least three to five vocabulary words. Now, I will give you time to do it here in class. So that way, if you have any questions or you need a vocabulary word, or, or you don't understand, I'm here to answer your questions, okay?
and I'm going to send this to the group so that way I'm going to put it right here I'm going to make it a little bit smaller and that way you only have to do one activity you do not have to do both all right Let me send this to the group. I want it in your in your own words, okay? In sus propias palabras, in your own words. Any questions? Are there any questions? When you finish, you can send it to me, right? Remember in your own words, en sus propias palabras. There's no need to go and find Google or anything like that. Because you need to include in your writing three to five vocabulary words. Remember, if you need help or you have any questions, please ask me, okay?
Let me turn off your microphone, Jennifer. Okay. Okay, Francisco. Yes, teacher. All right, I'm reading your your uh, your writing part. All right. It's okay, or I okay. need to change some. Okay, can you read right here, please? Where is in blue? Yes, include three five vocabulary words. Okay. All right. Can you tell me where are your vocabulary words here? I think that yes, but I'm not sure. But for example, uh, a good inventor manager, or no, is not uh, about this topic. Uh, well, that is, ese es el tema principal, right? That is the main topic. Yeah. Aquí dice yeah. inventory management, right? That is the topic. Uh -huh. So yeah, yeah. It, you can include it, but it's not part of the vocabulary. You see here the vocabulary include three to five vocabulary words in your paragraph. It's the sum of vocabulary words. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, oh, okay. All right, but it is good. I like it. You did a good job, but there are no vocabulary words from here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, I I I will change. All right. Some work. Okay, Francisco. Thank you. That was you, that's, that's the only observation. Everything else is good. Everything okay. else is good.
Ok, Juan José. Ok. Juan José, hello. Yes, yes, I hear you. Ok, uh, very good, perfect, excellent. Good job. Thank you. All right, yes, that's what I'm asking for. Exactamente lo que yo, what I'm looking for, yes. You use the vocabulary in your, very good, perfect. All right, you use three. Let me see, inventory, spoil, stock, and restock. Good job. All right, Neftali. Excellent, Neftali. Excellent, well done. All right, Abigail. Very good, excellent, well done. All right, I will be checking the rest. All right, good job, excellent. Yeah, I will be checking the rest when when we finish the class. I will review it, and then I will take notice uh, for the ones that did the activity. All right, good job. I read some of them. Excellent. Well read, well written. Good job. Good expressions. Perfect. Excellent. Okay, class. Um, I'm going to do the last attendance. All right. That way, for those of you that already gave me this activity, you don't have homework. Okay. Lo que me la acaban de dar, you don't have homework because you're finished. All right. Teacher, so you... I send you a uh, okay. laptop. Okay, I will look at it after class and then I will I will look at it and then I will answer you, okay? Answer everyone that's, uh, I think I have like two or three here. All right, let me, but thank you, Carla. Let me see. All right. Now, um, for those of you that enter late, para aquellos que llegaron algo tarde y no, no escucharon lo que dije temprano, I'm going to repeat it, okay, para que no queden afuera. Uh, there were, there were, there were some issues with the platform, right? And management already fixed it. So I'm going to share with you briefly, brevemente. If you want to change your, uh, quiere cambiarlas, you can, all right? You can, but you don't have to. You know, if you know what I said, there's no problem, right? But I'm giving you the option, and I'm talking about 3.9. 3.9. Estoy hablando de la 3.9. 3.9. The homework in the platform that you already did it, but the platform nomás daba 15 de 20, 15 or 20. Now, if you look at it, ya está la opción para que pongan la respuesta correcta for number four. They were you what happened was they were unified. Okay, so there was a mistake here, but it's already fixed. All you have to do is go back. Si quiere cambiar la nota, you can. All right, I'm just giving you the opportunity for those that came in late to at least uh, hear me about this uh, issue with the platform. All right, 
So if you want to go change it, you can. If you want to go, I'm talking about 3.9, all right? And that way, if you do it, lo puedo modificar hoy. Ya para mañana, ya, ya, ya sería, it'll be a different story, okay? But if you want to do it, you can do it right now. Ahorita mismo si quieren. And you can go to 3.9 and change it and add this para que le dé el 2020, 2020. All right? Para aquellos que lo quieran hacer. All right, let me see. Okay, class, I'm going to do the final attendance. Let me stop that. All right. Abigail. Present. Okay, thank you. Blanca. Present. Okay, thank you. Uh, Brenda. Brenda, okay, didn't connect. Zero. Carlos. I'm here present with you. Okay, thank you. Doris. Present. Okay, thank you. Edwin. Edwin. Are you here? Where are you here? Connected. Okay, Francisco. Present teacher. All right, thank you. Present. Freddy's. New teacher. All right, thank you. Glenda. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Iris. Iris. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Jackie. Present. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Jackie. Let me see. Jarvin. Present. Okay, thank you. Jennifer. I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you. Juan Jose. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Carla. Okay. Neftali. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Rolando. Present. All right, thank you. Thelma. Present teacher. Thank you. Janari. I'm here. Okay, thank you. Alvin. All right, thank you. Okay, class. Uh, tomorrow we will continue with the next activities. There's going to be a part, and you can look at it on page 36, all right, where it talks about a little bit about, um, let me see, adverbs. Did you, I'm present. All right. Yes, I put you down, Carla. No problem. <laughs> okay. All right, I got you. Let me see where you were talking about adverbs, adverbios, adverbs, all right? We're going to be talking about adverbs, a little bit of grammar, poquito de gramática. What is the purpose of adverbs, all right? Como funciona? I might, I might take a little bit longer, okay? Si me paso un poquito de este tema, es para que quede un poquito claro sobre la gramática, okay? So don't be like, oh, teacher, right? I'm go I want to add a little bit more. Quiero agregarle un poquito más al contenido. All right? So, I want to do some activities with you about grammar, especially with adverbs, las funciones de los adverbios, especially in English. All right, class, and everyone else, good night, except for um, Alvin. Are you able to stay for the 10 minutes, Alvin? Alvin? Are you able, I know earlier you couldn't uh, you couldn't work with the class, but um, are you able to stay the 10 minutes or not, Alvin? Because today's your day. Okay, class, good night, and I see you tomorrow. Be ready so we can continue, and we'll do a little bit of grammar tomorrow. Okay? Good night, everyone. Take care. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you, teacher. Good night, good night. everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night. To be in the 10 minutes later after class. Yes. Okay, Alvin. I didn't know if you could. That's what I was asking. Like, I don't know. No, I couldn't. Ah, you you can't. No, I, I cannot, teacher. Okay. All right, then. Um, then I'll see you tomorrow, Alvin.
Okay, thank you, okay. teacher. No problem. I just wanted to verify that way I can prepare myself to see uh, what what questions you might have for me. Okay. Okay, thank right. you, teacher. See no you problem. tomorrow. Okay, no problem. Have a good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night. All right. Thank you. Bye bye.